What's going on, YouTube fam? Savage Tech back in the building. Today, we're going to be looking at the NR200P. Let's jump right in it. I want to give a shout out to my baby girl. My daughter graduated from the University of Oregon. You go, girl. 100. Next, I want to give out a shot to you guys. Man, we're at 1,600 subscribers. Savage, appreciate the support. All right, so we're first going to remove the mounting bracket for the rad there. Accessory box. Come with two 120 mm you know, millimeter fans, fan connector. And they come with fan guards. It's nice. So that already lets you know something about the bill. It's gonna be cramped. Accessories, ties, screws, rubber mounts. 3.0 GPU riser case. It already has the little mounting support for the fan all you have to do push them in place there you go easy easy right here's your cpu it has a gold triangle the tip it's only going to go in one way do not force it Bam. This is your M.2 car. Your hard drive. You want to connect it at an angle. Slowly ease it in. Do not force it. Make sure you secure it back to the motherboard. Place your heat sink. There is nothing like thirty two GB of memory. Fury memory. Yeah. Dig that. Line it up. Yes, sir. Notches there. Matches the notch on your motherboard. And snap. The boy has been prepped. Let's push on to the next episode. Here we have your PSU cage. We have two screws holding it on.
wearing straps or your cable mesh. EVGA 850. You know, we all love building PC. All right, so we have to remove this bracket. This will give us better working space. four screws, two at each end, one on the top, one on the side, don't forget your iron old board, CPU power connector, it's best to connect this now, it will save you a little headache down the line, at this point, I will probably go ahead and connect my power switch and my USB header for the front panel. You know, a little information to make your build a little easier. connected that's what I like to see this is your audio front panel connect now that cover that I was playing with earlier we're gonna put it back together your power switch connect this is your USB front panel header connect right here are the slots for that PSU cage one is for the regular PSU SFX and then the other one is for the SL the longer version anyway it gives you a little more room to work with 
or should I say a proper fit in the case, depending on which one you select. The cage only has two screws holding it to the case. Don't forget to connect your power cable to your PSU. And make sure you turn the switch on. 100. This is the bracket for your radiator. And it takes up to a 280 millimeter red. And if you do decide to go with a 280 red, remember it's gonna take up more space. It's gonna make things tighter. This is your connection for your VGA power supply. It goes to your graphics card. This is your power cord for your motherboard. Those Velcro strips are very tedious. Take note. hard work and dedication. Cable management. It's not easy. It's time consuming. Sometimes, but not all the time. Just depends on the case. Just expect it and get her done. And if you like this video, if it helps you in any way, entertain me for you. Please subscribe, hit that like button, man, and definitely ring that bell. Your boy Savage, you know. Okay, so right here, I'm going to stuff those cables right there in the front panel. I'm going to use some zip ties to squeeze these cables together. So when I get ready to use the Velcro straps that came with the unit right there, it'll make it a little easier. to work with this a little bit. That's tight. Oh. Be careful. I put that back together with some super glue. It works fine. Hard work and dedication. As you see, the other Velcro strap is there. Super glue is your friend.
Okay, so I'm gonna be putting two 120 slim fitting Noctua fans at the bottom. Not the prettiest thing, but they get the job done. Also, I'm going to be connecting a splitter to the knock to a fan. Knocking out some more cable management. Proper alignment of that GPU. Power connection to your GPU. How you put your thermal paste down, it's up to you. Just make sure you got enough. And if you got extra, just remember, you got to clean up the mess. Not savage. Apply at your own risk. Want to get your aesthetics right? Get your RGB lined up the way you want it. Do not over tighten your pump screws to the motherboard. This is your connector that connects from your pump to your pump hitter on your motherboard or to your CPU fan hitter on your motherboard. Since I have a pump hitter on my motherboard, I'm going to connect my rad fans to my CPU head on my motherboard for your splitter. Now, as you can see, I stuffed the extra wire into the front panel. As you can see, the fan on the GPU has room to move. This is a test fit for my bottom fan. Is it the USB head of connection that goes from the motherboard to the pump?
All right, so right now I'm just testing or checking my cable mesh, making sure everything is out of the way. One thing I should point out, if you have your fans mounted this away, you might need to get you some fan grill, fan guard, whatever you want to call, whatever, do it. Get these bottom fans in place. Don't forget your screw on the side. So I'm connecting my top fan to the exhaust headers on the motherboard okay don't forget to put your bracket back on so just a recap Fans from the top, going to the exhaust fans on the motherboard. Radiator fan, going to the CPU fan held on the motherboard. Fans at the bottom, connect via splitter to the fan header. Exhaust fan header on the motherboard. All right, team. Let's get some power to this baby. As we draw down to the final stand. Slim fans at the bottom, blowing directly on the graphics card. Radiator fans blowing out. Top exhaust fans up. What you think? EBGA 850 push no problem this thing is nice and it's moving a whole lot of air let's test it out look at some of these numbers what you think So I ran Blender several times. Got about 60 with the CPU. Same thing with the GPU. I got 67 degrees Celsius. Then I did a little gaming action for you gaming fans. And I got 64 degrees on the GPU. CPU got up to 66 degrees Celsius. 
Now, mind you, after I started playing this game, and the GPU constantly started taking over, the temps on the CPU dropped. Again, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel and helping us to become a YouTube partner. Thanks. Like, subscribe, Savage out.